Hello everyone and welcome to episode 25 of the TCC CTC Link blog. Uh, I thought I'd uh, dedicate this episode to kind of a day in the life of, a user, of user acceptance testing, kind of show you what folks have been doing the past couple weeks and what they're going to continue to do until the end of October. Um, so typically what, what happens is people start off by um, logging into a, a website, it's a SharePoint site actually called PMRX, and then they take a look at the schedule for the day. And this is an example of what the schedule looks like. It's a pretty large spreadsheet um, and it's broken down by uh, Spokane testers and Tacoma testers. And people can then filter by testing day and then by their name and so that they can find uh, what test scripts that they have to run for that day. And then this other spreadsheet, once they've determined what test they need to go into, they actually run into a test script. And so the test script is really just a set of instructions. It's like this spreadsheet here, which says, you know, start by logging into the page, going to a particular page within the PeopleSoft environment. And then when they come to areas where they have to enter data in the system, there's a tab at the bottom called a data sheet that they can go in and they grab data from the system um, to be able to um, enter it into the PeopleSoft environment and make sure that everything works the way it should. And then um, at the end of the day, uh, we, we open up a defect meeting in WebEx and people then kind of talk about um, some of the defects that they've logged. And people log their defects in a system called OATS, um, where they actually log in and then they describe the defect that, that, that occurred uh, when they were in the system, and they post screenshots um, and other comments about what, what occurred during that testing phase. <clears throat> and then what will happen is that information gets passed along to the cyber and CTC link teams so that those defects can be uh, resolved and then pushed back out for retesting. So in some cases our testers are actually performing the scripts multiple times uh, because they, maybe they have logged a defect and now they're um, having to retest to make sure that the defect has been resolved. And so finally, I just wanted to show some video um, of some uh, aspects of the testing. This first video is our testers um, in the testing room. We were in 16.206 uh, the, for, the, for, for the last two weeks uh, running through test scripts. And so people are working diligently at their computers. Um, I also, in this next clip, I wanted to show um, our support team that came from the state board that were, um, they were working very hard with our staff uh, to make sure that the, the tests ran as smoothly as possible. And then, uh, and then a short clip of kind of what the, it's kind of a boring clip actually, but it's a clip of how we've been running the defect meetings and, and how they're handled through WebEx. Um, and then people could report out uh, issues they run into um, with the, and, and describe the defects in more detail if necessary. And then finally, this last clip, I'm going to leave uh, or in the episode with this last clip. This is a clip of uh, Steve Ashpole. And uh, if you haven't tested yet, he gives some pointers for uh, folks that, uh, that are going to be testing uh, user acceptance uh, testing scripts in the near future. And I'll see you next time. My words of wisdom would be come early. Prepare to spend a lot of time getting set up and prepared. But once you learn how to do that, it's a pretty simple, straightforward task.